right. Rub your hands together. But your big folks have to do it too. Blow on him three times.
flounced away and left him there, sitting in a puddle. Their chant rolled round inside his head. His thoughts were in a muddle. Too poop to pop, too grieve to groan, predicament complete. He heard the long forgotten sound of pitter patter feet. An ancient furry rabbit with a twinkle for an eye had hopped till safely distant and snuggled down close by. Now, uh, dragon, sir, how do you do? The name is Mr. Small. I've been watching you a long, long time. You've got no place at all to go to in the evening when the countryside is forlorn. And I have a faint suspicion you don't want to be alone. This here's a real nice sunny day. Please do, don't be on your own. I'd sure be glad. Please don't be mad if you could sit and come and watch my clan while we roll hoops and hoppity scotch and do our plate. Dragon scratched an ear and thought. Hmm. Carefully, because javelins and hopscotch, hmm, is not a dragon sport. All this talk of javelins. What do you do for spite? My life is filled with nothing less than fiery razzle-dazzle. You thank both lucky rabbit's feet. You're not melted to a frazzle. Oh, ho, ho. Mr. Small turned pale and gray, his whiskers curled with fear, and from each ancient eyeball fell a tiny rabbit tear. Mr. Small held fast and firm. He didn't move at all. Instead, he threw his head back and let out a rabbit call. All of the other bunnies in that empty dragon land ran to help the rabbit to lend a helping hand. There must have been 10,000 from a million rabbit tribes, rabbits of all ages, weights and types and size. Some had sticks, some had knives, and some had rocks and stones, and all of them were ready to break the dragon's bones. Death to big old dragon. He's useless to us all. Death to big old dragon. Life to Mr. Small. Now the dragon hemmed and hawed. Now he filled with fear. Now he really did believe the end was drawing near. No, no! cried out the rabbit. This is not our way at all. Listen to your leader, old rabbit, Mr. Small. We never found our purpose in violence and strife. Let's give the poor old dragon another chance at life. It's true, he's really messed up. His luck has all run out. Dragon's biggest talent is his will to fume and pout. I say it's worth the effort to see what we can do. I swear by rabbit whiskers, he can start his life anew.